Hi, I'm Wiley Sharp with Dennis and Yachting, and it's a beautiful fall morning here in Con for the Yachting Festival. We got here nice, bright, and early to give you guys a first look at the XS Catamarans, which are making their world debut here at the show. We're gonna go ahead and jump aboard the XS-12. This is the first video walkthrough that has ever been filmed on an XS Catamaran. And I can't wait till next month when I get to show her off to y'all at the Annapolis Boat Show. So the XS-12 that we're gonna be going on board today is a three stateroom, two head layout. Three key things that separate the XS-12 from her competitors are her twin helms aft, an optional retractable sunroof over the cockpit, her third important feature is the Pulse Line rig, which includes a taller mast, a longer bowsprit, and higher tech sails. We're going to begin today's tour here at the stern. We've got two nice, large, wide sugar scoops, which give you really good, easy access to the boat. We've got our twin helms on the outboard side, which are very well protected from the elements. A benefit of having these twin aft helms is it completely opens up the cockpit space, making it feel much larger than you find in comparable boats in our class. On the stern here, we've got the davit system, which runs to an electric winch, making it very easy to deploy and stow your tender. Let's go ahead and jump aboard the XS-12. A little over three years ago, when Group Beneteau decided to launch this new exciting catamaran range, they wanted to keep sailing and the fun of sailing as the focal point for the project. And all of that starts here at the helm. When they announced that they were going to go with twin aft helms, I was a bit on the skeptical side. For me as a sailor, twin outboard helms always meant being exposed to the elements, be it the sun, the rain, or the wind, at times where I don't want to be exposed to the weather. When I first stepped aboard the XS Catamarans at the dealer meeting last month in Bordeaux, I was beyond impressed with how well they designed the aft helms on this range. You've got great line of sight to all four corners. You've got great protection from the weather because of the bimini top and the factory enclosure. And you're also right in the middle of the action while underway sailing. On the outboard side, we've got the Yanmar controls to starboard, making it very, very easy to handle this boat in close quarters, as well as still be able to assist with the docking. Forward of that, we've got the quick windlass remote control and chain counter, making it very convenient to both drop and hoist the anchor. At both pedestals, you'll find a carbon fiber helm, as well as a Raymarine electronics package. One of the other noteworthy features worth mentioning at the helm are the retractable helm seats found both to port and starboard. One of the disadvantages found with most twin helm boats is the lack of visibility. With the XS-12, I've got a great line of sight to both the port bow, the starboard bow, as well as the stern. Another unique feature on the XS-12 is all of our lines are captive and run back to the helms, making it a very easy boat to handle. There's plenty of seating throughout the cockpit of the XS-12. We've got three main settees, one to starboard, one on the stern, and an L-shaped settee to port for alfresco dining. This boat's equipped with the optional factory cockpit refrigerator. There's never been a catamaran designed before with an optional retractable sunroof over the cockpit, which is something very unique to the XS range. On a beautiful day like this, look how much this opens up the cockpit. Let's go ahead and check out the foredeck before we make our way into the salon. For a 12 meter boat, this weather deck is exceptionally wide. And there's also an integrated grab rail on the brow, making it very easy and safe to walk up forward. One of the issues with most catamarans under 40 feet is the lack of storage. That's not the case with the XS-12. Over to port and starboard, we've got nice large four peaks. We've also got two nice large lazarettes in the deck. This boat's equipped with the factory generator, which is located in the port lazarette. There's still plenty of storage around the generator. And then over on the starboard side, we've got a nice deep locker. Forward to the trampoline, we've got the bowsprit, which is included in the pulse line package. Perfect place to fly your code zero off of. Up here, we also have the primary anchor, which is connected to a quick windlass just after the trampoline. The XS Catamarans are all equipped with a self-tacking jib, and they also come with a square top mainsail, making it a very easy boat to single hand. Let's go ahead and take a look inside, starting with the salon. One of the things I love about the XS-12 is just how open, bright, and airy the salon is, and the natural flow from the cockpit into the salon, and this is aided through the vertical windows, as well as the pocketing door and pocketing window. 
Port aft in the salon, we've got the galley, which has got plenty of storage, a nice large refrigerator, single basin sink, three burner stove, as well as an oven with a broiler. Port forward, we've got the nav station, as well as a 12 volt distribution panel. Starboard forward, we've got the settee with your interior dining space. Starboard aft, we've got the optional freezer, as well as the television. Let's go ahead and check out the guest staterooms over on the starboard side. Starboard forward, we've got the first of three cabins on board the boat with plenty of storage beneath the berth as well as in hanging lockers. Moving aft, we'll pass the midship head. Another unique feature on this boat is that it's actually a dry head, which is usually not found in catamarans in the under 40 foot range. Aft is guest stateroom number two. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the port side master stateroom. The master suite occupies the entire port hall, creating a very comfortable living space for either the short trips or extended trips in the islands. After we've got the master berth, center line, we've got a nice settee as well as a desk with a vanity. And we've got hanging lockers on the outboard side with storage down below. Making our way forward of that, we've got the master head, which has got a separate shower stall floor. Thank you so much for letting me share this exciting brand new catamaran from the world's largest boat builder with you today. She'll be making her North American debut next month at the Annapolis Boat Show. So if you're planning on attending and you wanna check out this amazing new catamaran, please contact me to set up an appointment.